Plant tissue culture is a collection of techniques to grow plant cells. Tissues are organs under sterile conditions. It is also known as in vitro culture. An example is micropropagation, in which a small piece of plant tissue is used to generate a whole plant. This technique is highly adopted in horticulture and forestry to allow rapid production of new, superior variety of offspring. In this episode, we will talk about how to successfully grow a plant in vitro from scratch. The first step in plant tissue culture is the preparation of culture media. In this practical, we are using half MS medium to prepare half MS medium. 5 milliliters of each macronutrient and 0.5 milliliters of ethylene diamine tetra and gambax B5 vitamins are added into a 500 milliliters plastic beaker and topped up with 50 milliliters of distilled water. 2 grams of sucrose is added and the solution is stirred with magnetic stirrer. The pH is adjusted to about 5.8 by adding hydrochloric acid or sodium hydroxide. Pour the solution into a measuring cylinder and top up with distilled water to 100 milliliters. Then, return the solution into the beaker and add 0.9 grams of agar. Put the beaker into a microwave to ensure that the agar is completely melted. Remove the solution from the microwave and stir it before pouring equally into two conical flasks. The conical flasks are capped with aluminum foil and are autoclaved at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Remember to label your conical flasks accordingly. Your half MS medium is ready to use. The next step after medium preparation is explant preparation and inoculation. Explant needs to be surface sterilized before inoculated into the medium agar to prevent contamination. This process has to be done in a sterilized laminar flow. The following items should be prepared in the laminar flow before you start. Micro centrifuge tube containing seed soaked in tap water incubated overnight is dewatered. About 1 milliliter of 95% of ethanol is added in and shaken for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, the ethanol is decanted. 1 milliliter of 20% Clorox and 1 or 2 drops of tween 20 are added in and shaken for 10 minutes. Rinse 5 times with sterilized distilled water. Decant the water and leave the seeds in the lamina hood to dry. Seeds are ready for in vitro culture. When the seeds are ready, remove all unnecessary items from the lamina flow and make sure the following items are in the flow before you start. Remember to sterilize everything you transfer into the laminar flow. Autoclave forceps are placed in 95% ethanol. A forceps is flamed and left to cool down before transferring seeds onto a petri dish. Another forceps is flamed and used to remove the aluminum cap from the flask. Place aluminum foil in an inverted position. Place the forceps back into the ethanol after flaming. Using the first forceps, transfer seeds into conical flask. The mouth of the conical flask is flamed and by using the second forceps, return the aluminum cap onto the flask. Observations are made weekly for three months before the next procedure. The growth of seedlings are recorded. The final step of plant tissue culture is acclimatization, a controlled process of adaption of an organism to environmental changes. After three months in the conical flask, 
The plantlet has to be removed and transferred to the soil, facing non-sterile conditions and inconsistency in humidity and temperature. A little water is first added into the flask to soften the agar. The plantlet is removed from the flask carefully without injuring the roots. It is important to wash the plantlet with tap water thoroughly to remove remaining agar to prevent microbial growth. To prepare the flower pot, place an aluminum foil into the base of the pot. Fill the pot with light soil and spray generous amount of water. The plantlet is then transferred into the flower pot. A clear plastic bag with tiny holes is sprayed with water and used to cover the plant to create a moist ambience. The plant is watered daily and is kept in a shady area. When the plant has adapted to the new environment, it can grow as a normal plant. The hardening progress of the plant is as follows. It is important for a researcher to be ethical while performing tissue culture as this technique comes with great responsibility. We must always put the society before us. Plant tissue culture is meant to produce products that are useful to the humankind the ecosystem. For instance, to produce plant synthesized proteins that are beneficial in the field of pharmaceutics. Due to the increase in world population, the Earth can no longer sustain the needs of all life. Plant tissue culture is our hope to end world hunger. However, when it comes to manipulating a living organism, many ethical issues will arise. Examples of them, unknown side effects to the consumers, toxicity and low nutritional levels, risks of allergy and most importantly, the production of antibiotic-resistant microbes, called superbugs. Hence, this technique must be performed with caution to minimize the risks while capitalizing on the benefit. An example of business opportunity in plant tissue culture is to run a community farm in every district of the nation, providing fresh and cheap agriculture crops to the citizens. Plants that are grown in vitro can be harvested in a shorter time, hence there is no need of a large area for plantation. In this way, citizens can enjoy the luxury of fresh farm produce at a lower price.